Hey there, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Today, I want to introduce to you the topic of painting paths in different landscapes. It can even apply to painting streams, getting the correct perspective. So up here, I have my version of Bob's painting, and this is actually a course that I have taught. I've broken this one, it's called Downstream View. I've broken it into some lessons to help teach you how to make the rocks under the water and just billowy clouds and all that. But I want to talk specifically right now about the stream, okay? Downstream view. So we're downstream and this is our view, right? <laughs> Look back here how narrow this is. And then as it comes around then you can see that the water is flat, but it gets bigger, and then it comes to about right here, okay? So it runs out of canvas over here, and to, and it, so it's getting so much bigger or appearing so much bigger. It does get bigger on your canvas, but it appears to get bigger to your viewer's eye. So that is one way, and I have a few paintings here. Here is one, and it's a southwestern scene. And if you look at the path, you'll see the same thing. Smaller here, and then this one meanders back and forth. And back and forth, it gets a little wider. And then by the time you get down here, it's this wide. So it goes from itty bitty to here, and it originates here. And by the time it gets down here, it has grown to here and here. Now, if you're standing back here, it would look this wide more than likely. We don't know. We're not there. But it's all about the perspective. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to show you a couple of books. There's one in here that really shows it. This is Bob's book number nine. And I love the books. I learned so much in my earlier in my career from the books because we did not have Bob. We didn't have YouTube back then. I've been doing this. Next month will be 20 years. And um, so I'm going to try to find that. But this is called Meadow Road. Okay. Piney. And look, it doesn't even start way at the top. It starts here. So you can tell it originates behind this group of trees. And then it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until it gets a lot wider. Okay, that's so important. And I'm going to show you uh, maybe one more. There's one really big thing I'm trying to impress upon you. And then in the videos in this category... You're going to see me talk more about that. I did a video in the Streams and Brooks category in the Happy Little Forest. And that shows how you make the, um, you give the impression of the water coming down, advancing to levels. So that's a little bit like what we're doing, but not exactly. Um, let's see. Okay. This is called High Chateau. I want you to look where that path originates at the door of that little chateau, and then it goes down in a like a like a wedge shape. Okay. Down here it is this wide. Is that right? It goes all the way to there. And it gives you the impression that it goes off here. Sorry about that glare. But what I want you to see, what I really want to bring out to you is that it's not pleasing to the eye to have water looking or, or a path because it's pretty much the same technique. Um, it's not very pleasing for it to go straight to the point of interest in your painting. So we, I show you ways you're going to see more videos populated in this category um, that show how to create paths that look like they meander a while. 
So what does that do? It, it not only gives your path some character, but it shows dis distance and depth, okay? When you make something that looks like the path goes straight up, not only is that a little on the boring side, but it also shortens your painting. It looks like it's just like right there and you have to go up like something I wouldn't want to do. <laughs> um, maybe a kid might could sprint up that hill, but you want it to look like it's further away and you have some meandering to do before you get there. So it's really important to follow the tricks and tips that I'm going to show you and that Bob shows us. So that is coming up in this category. And again, I want to thank you so much for being in my happy little forest. I'm excited to populate this category for you. Happy painting and God bless my friend.